Well, great. That ended up building successfully without any errors during the build process, so that was a really good sign. Um, we ended up with, of course, a recovery image, our kernel, and uh, you know all the things that we need right here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, try putting this on the phone. So let's see what we got here. So we've got our ADB devices here. You can see the phone. Uh, it's on in its normal state right now. We're going to reboot into fast boot mode. We'll check, see if we made it there. And we did not. I don't know why. Try this again here in just a second as soon as it's done booting up again. So we got that A to B reboot. Oh, uh, that's why. You can't reboot into fast boot, reboot into bootloader. Sorry. So we'll reboot to that bootloader where we can use fast boot. And we see fast boot devices. There we go. So, error on my part. Um, hopefully, you're smarter than I am and don't make the same mistakes. So, let's see. So, fast boot. And we're going to flash. And if you need help with how to use Fastboot, I have videos on that already that you're welcome to check out. Uh, just take a look at my channel. A lot of information there that you can glean and use from there. Uh, we're kind of focused more on just doing the advanced portion of building a recovery for a device that's never been built before. So I'm going to kind of skip over what I'm doing exactly. Hopefully uh, you're familiar with that already. If you're not, please check out my other videos for how to use Fastboot. So we're going to use Fastboot Flash. Uh, we're going to say Recovery, and we're going to use the recovery image that we just made. Of course, it boots up pretty quick, pretty quick uh, for it to flash. It's only 32 uh, megabytes uh, of maximum space, and it's even less than that. I think if we look at it, it's uh, only 12 megabytes. So uh, notice that this one, which we built uh, with the kernel source, is bigger than both of my previous ones. Uh, that we had uh, that we had before. So that first one we made was the boots but not working good recovery. That one would boot up but then the screen would go blank and didn't work hardly at all. We fixed the screen blanking problem with some kernel or excuse me not kernel with some twerp flags and then uh, we ended up with the second one where the team win recovery project recovery life XL no touch screen and that's where we left off last time. So this one if it uh, work successfully obviously we can just name it what it is but um, fast boot let's uh, reboot and it's gonna boot up into the normal um, ROM and so once we get there we're gonna reboot into recovery have to wait for the phone to finish booting just take a second here uh, hopefully as we go along through this journey, you're uh, learning a lot about uh, building device trees from scratch, particularly for Team Win Recovery Project is what this series is particularly about. Um, it's very interesting to notice the difference between doing it with a pre-built kernel and doing it with a um, kernel source code. You could do it both ways, and I really wanted to show that here, so hopefully that was instructive and helpful. So let's see, we told it to reboot into recovery. It's just hanging at the blue bold like us screen. Not seeing anything happen as of yet. Does not look like it is successful. All right, so. Um, we've got a problem, and what do we do about that? Well, we notice a few things. ADB is not working. We go ADB devices, and there's no device mentioned. So ADB is not even working. It's not even uh, being able to finish what it's doing. Uh, it's hanging right here. It's probably got some sort of kernel problem um, that we'll have to look into further. So um, I'm going to... Uh, 
take a look at that and hopefully we can find uh, what the problem is and, and work through that. I definitely want to leave this video in so you can see that it's not always uh, a bed of roses when you go to do stuff like this. Just because you have the kernel source doesn't mean everything's going to work right off the bat. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully that uh, is encouraging to you as well as you try to work through your issues as well.